I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'll do a voiceover. So, what you're gonna do is go on to this link on Game Banana. Uh, GUIs 34280. I'll take you to a, re a completely reworked Star HUD. And this is because Brozel HUD is vastly out of date compared to HUDs such as Bud HUD, uh, Toon HUD. Both are updated like every single time TF2 gets an update. Which means they haven't been updated in like two or one, <laughs> a year or two. <laughs> but anyways, you're gonna have to download this file called Star HUD Mastered version 2 on Game Banana. And there's no mod boy thing, so you just gotta download it on uh, to your desktop or something like this. And you'll get this set. Because I have 7-zip, it automatically opens at 7-zip. But, if you don't, just uh, open it with uh, Windows Explorer and uh, extract all. It should do the exact same thing. Now, open your custom folder in TF2. Your TF2 directory, that is uh, Program Files times 86 Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Custom. I'll show you the complete way. So, Program Files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Custom. Now, I already have a HUD installed. I don't use this HUD, I use Ray's HUD. But this works with any HUD at all. Any HUD with the extracted folder. Let me just get rid of this. You just put it in there. That's all you do. You just put it in there. Now, since Star HUD is in TF2, I'll launch TF2 and show you what it looks like. Now, this is what TF2 looks like on the main menu. Uh, when you install the HUD, this is what you should get. Unless you downloaded a completely different HUD, then that's on you. But this is what it looks like. Uh, I know it looks different from the star videos from past. That's because Jungle Inferno Meet Your Match uh, completely revamped the main menu UI. So this is what a reworked version should look like. And you have the funny days font. Oh. So let me find a game to show you off. Show it off. So now that I'm in game, this is what the HUD should look like. You got the days font, and that's about it. I'll switch to engineer to see what it looks like on uh, all the UI elements. So, metals in the middle. I don't know why it's not in days font, but it isn't. I feel like it should be in days font, even if it's not like accurate to star videos. And I'll go on to MVM. Uh, sh show you what MVM UI looks like. Alright, so the green money, of course, is your money that you have. Yellow money is, of course, the money that's dropped and you need to collect. Uh, this is the wave. Shit. The normal tab UI. Difficulty and all. charge meter is just a big fucking bar and if I switch to sticky bombs it's the same thing 
amount of stickies you have is right above the charge meter. That's good. And right now I'll toggle minimal mode. See what it looks like. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, never mind. It fixed it. So yeah, it doesn't seem to be much of a difference. Let me check. Is that actually not that much of a difference? That is actually not that much of a difference. So you don't need to use the minim minimal mode with this HUD. All you just got to do is just keep it the same. So, I think that's about it, unless I didn't show off the tab thing on uh, a normal map, so, map, TF24. So this is what the normal tab looks like on this HUD, yeah, the normal scoreboard, so, that's about it.